Hey everyone, welcome back. Now that we know SQL is the language we use to talk to databases in the form of SQL queries, let's delve into different SQL data types and operators in this video. Let's first touch on data types. What are they? Think of data types like different types of containers, each designed to hold a specific kind of data. Just like you wouldn't put soup in a basket, you wouldn't store a particular type of data in another. When defining columns in a database table, you specify the data type of each column according to the kind of data it will store. Why do we do that? Specifying data types enforces data integrity and optimizes storage space by ensuring only valid data can be stored in each column. Additionally, choosing appropriate data types can facilitate efficient query execution. SQL supports various data types broadly categorized into the groups string, numeric, boolean, date and time. Let's look at each of them. String. This is used to store alphanumeric characters like letters, numbers and special characters. Care and varchar are both string data types. The difference is care has a fixed length string while varchar has a variable length. One interview question here. When you can store the required string size using a varchar data type, why should you even use a char data type of fixed length? Well, while varchar is more versatile for variable length data, char still holds value in specific situations. When dealing with data that has a consistent predictable length like state abbreviations, always two characters, and country codes always has two letters, char can be more storage efficient, as it occupies the same amount of space for each value. Also, performance and memory usage can be optimized using fixed length data type CAR. So, it is efficient to use CAR over VARCAR when the data length is consistent and predictable. Our next data type is numeric. This is used to store only numbers. The typical data types are integer and float. Integer is used to store whole numbers while float is used to store decimal point numbers. Boolean data types represent logical values true and false. In SQL databases, the Boolean data type is typically used to store these binary values often described as 1 for true and 0 for false. For example, a column is active in the customer account table can be set to boolean. Last but not the least, date and time. Date is used to store dates in the format YYYY MMDD, year, month, date. Time is used to store times in the format of HHMMSS, hour, minute and second. Date time and timestamp. These are used to store both date and time values. These are the primary types. Remember, although there are numerous data types beyond those mentioned, not all are important when emphasizing data analytics roles. In conclusion to our first topic, understanding SQL data types is essential for designing efficient databases and ensuring data integrity. We can optimize storage, enhance performance, and facilitate accurate data retrieval by selecting the appropriate data types for each column. Moving to our next one, SQL operators. In the world of SQL, data types are the building blocks of a SQL query, but SQL operators are the tools that help you manipulate and analyze the data. Just like a toolbox equips you for different tasks, SQL operators provide a variety of functionalities to craft powerful queries. 
here's a breakdown of the common types of sql operators arithmetic operators these operators perform calculations on numerical data types allowing you to crunch numbers within your queries for instance you can use addition operator to sum up the values in a sales column the various arithmetic operators are add subtract multiply divide and modulo what is the difference between divide and modulo operators divide returns the quotient of the division operation while modulo returns the remainder of the division next comparison operators as the name suggests comparison operators help you compare data values and filter based on those comparisons for example you could find customers who live in a specific state or orders placed after a certain date comparison operators are essential for filtering and retrieving relevant data and the different comparison operators equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to not equal to logical operators sometimes you need to combine multiple conditions within your queries logical operators come in handy for creating these complex filters here's how they work and returns true if all conditions separated by and are true or returns true if at least one of these conditions separated by or is true not negates a condition returns true if the condition is false there are additional operators beyond the ones mentioned such as like in between concatenate etc used to serve different purposes if you want to explore further i recommend you to refer to w3schools.com for the extensive list please find the link from the description box below however you don't have to memorize the list these details would be ingrained by doing some hands on which would be covered in the upcoming sessions by mastering these core sql operators you will be well on your way to writing effective queries that can filter analyze and manipulate data within your database remember practice is key experiment with different operators and combinations to unlock the full potential of your sql queries let's learn the sql commands in the next video